Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So, Kylie Bertucci, who has always done the Love It, Chop It, has now done another one, which I even like better. And Sue did a quick one on Friday night um, with it. But this is, um, you can download it, and I will put the link to where you can download them. And for some reason, my printer would not print in color. But the covers come out beautiful. It'll print out like this, except in color. And then you can put it, put all your chopped up paper right in the case. Um, I've even thrown in some other things that I stamped that'll also fit there. But this is definitely more like I cut my cardstock. But before I show you how that's actually done, yesterday I attended um, a stamp away. It was actually a weekend. I went for the day and I wanted to show you a couple of the projects. I don't know if this is going to show up good, but it was um, BJ who was always on here and Tracy. Can Does that, does that show? It's not on my computer yet for me to see. Let me see. Yeah, the twinkles. Oh, come on. Load up. Yeah, there it is. So this was really, really fun to make from a, a wine bottle. And then I guess these you can get the lights at um, Michael's, I think she had said. So that was really fun. Of course, I wasn't really feeling well, and when I got home last night, things got even worse. So, yeah, I'm kind of done from doing some of those things for a while. But um, I, I hardly did any of the projects. But here's a couple that I did do, and we're I'm going to be showing you one similar to this tonight. But isn't that fun? And that's cut this way. I'm going to be doing it a little different. And this was one of the other ones. And then this one, and this we stamped the inside. So it, it was fun. Definitely fun. They did a really good job. Okay, so let me take this and my cutter. Okay, so what she does now this really doesn't have a pattern so you don't have to worry about it but you cut it at four was it five and a quarter or four I'm gonna do the four because that's what I normally do anyway so four oh no she did it at five but this will still work because you're left with a a long strip that I cut in six all right I cut my six strip anyway. So you have your three, so it would be two and one, and then you cut them all into five and a quarter. But this is actually how I cut my cardstock anyway. So you would have, I'll do the rest of these later. But if you do it at the five and a quarter, then you'll have one longer piece that you can cut a little differently if you need to. And you'll see on a couple of my, my projects. So you end up with, you know, the longer piece and you cut it. But you end up with all these card front pieces and you can cut them down to anything. Um, you still can make at least 72 cards from a full package of DSP. Or more depending on on how you cut it and some of them let me bring this back because you can say this one put on your cutter and cut it diagonal so you've got two cards out of that and then you can use this on the inside of the card you can even cut this one down more uh, you can cut a 
two inch piece. So there's two cards, or you can cut it down, you know, a different way. And you'll see on a couple of, of my projects. Okay, so let me, I'm going to bring the couple of them in now. And then, so I was playing with other sets. So this I watercolored, and this is that paper, Painted Seasons, in the background. Uh, nothing on the inside of that one. And then if you remember the butterflies that I did a week or two ago that we were watercoloring. So that was one with the DSP. Nothing on the inside of that. And then the little bunny. And that, that set is so cute. And where did I put it? So cute. Fable Friends. So cute. So here I use the reverse and I cut everything down to one inch. And then the inside, see I used that piece there and just stamped a little bit there. And then this one I watercolored with glycerin, and I'm pretty sure I showed you that also. I did it with um, glycerin and a blender pen. So you can see I, I got the two shades in there and I left lights and darks. And nothing on the inside. <laughs> but I did a couple. Getting a little better. Okay, so our first project. Is this one. So very simple. So this I put through um, the subtle dynamic folder, which is still my favorite. Because you can use it for anything just to so it's not plain don't want to be a plain Jane so this was a two inch and this is just um, an eighth larger and then I just glued that kind of to the side Half a sheet of ultra thick cardstock. And then in Call Me Clover. And I just dropped half my other project. We're stamping Hello Dear Friend. And I think I should have pushed down the ink on that. Yep. Okay, so you've seen me do this also. So when your pad is very juicy, you want to just push down that ink a little bit. And you could just wipe it off. And let me clean this. My pad is dry, so it's not going to work that well. So let's try it now. And there should be a big difference. Yep. Can you see the difference from that? How that you get the two shades there, and in here you lost it because there was so much, so much ink. And I lost the D on that, but I'll fix it. Fix it with a marker.
I always forget to push down on them first. It does help take that piece of paper off. So then it just goes right down in the middle. And with or without gems, it looks great. Let's see if I can fix it now. Um, that's garden green. I haven't gotten all these marked yet. I'm working on it. There's Call Me Clover. So I just kind of make dots. Don't tell anyone. I'm the only one that knows I did that. Okay. So for my next trick, <laughs> here's another simple one. I've already, already done those. So this is um, pink. Oh my goodness, Gail. Petal pink. And this is another piece of that DSP. So this goes down flat. And the other side, both sides are just beautiful from this paper. Okay. Oh, and then the inside. I did do an inside to that. So let's stamp that inside. But I don't have a piece left for that. So we're going to leave that off. So I just took Pool Party. And that should still be good. Because I pushed it down earlier. Hmm. Good thing there's two sides to the paper. Okay. And on the inside was, whoa, black. It's a million little things. And then from that, I took that plant again and stamped it off so and just made it very, very light. So that'll go on the inside. And then this, now I pre-cut these and I did it on my scan and cut and I when you do something that's so light, you have to sometimes trace around it or it won't pick it up. So I have to erase the pencil. Because I'm not going to lie, I don't have the dies. Can't fake it. Okay, and I left off one on that, I think. Okay, so even though it picks up color, if it's very, very light, it, it won't pick it up. So I just at first laid them out to where I thought about where I wanted them. So then I could stamp the saying and not mess that up. So I stamped our friendship isn't one big thing. Okay, and then I just used a little glue. Okay, then this one I put up.
So it goes about there. That'll work. Okay, and then when you go to put it all on the card, so I also put this up. So what you end up having to do is the one that is raised a little higher than the others has to get a second dimensional on it. So that's going to get two dimensionals. And I'm going to put extra because of all that on the side. I want it to be strong enough. So let me just knock them down so it's easier. Nothing's easy for my fingers. That's why I was trying to do that other trick, and I haven't practiced that lately. Okay. So then that just went right there and that went in the middle so there is that one and it's a pretty easy card Trying to, trying to stay easy. My last one is that one that we did yesterday. So that has, except I had to make it harder because that's me. But I'll show you the difference on that. So, so here is one. Oh, those are the two pieces I dropped. And I found one to the inside that I could have done never know what you find on my floor <laughs> okay so this one I did season's greetings and the other pieces are done so I did this one in soft suede So there's the season's greetings. Ta-da! That's still very wet. It's a juicy stamp. And then on this one, I took that leaf in the Call Me Clover, and I stamped it off three times. Let's go that direction. Oh. I love the stamp it like when you stamp it it almost looks watercolored the way they have it I just love it okay and I decided to do this one using the other side that's that's an honor of BJ because she's into using both sides of the paper are you on BJ She's usually here watching. And if she is, here's a little shout out to Dr. Chris. <laughs> Okie dokie. I missed just on the end a little bit, just a hair.
Okay, so this also gets put up with the dimensionals. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other one, is I just brought them around. So I'm going to put glue here. And I just did it enough to hide that stem. And then I put glue on the back of that. Okay. And dimensionals on the tip here and there and there. So they're not flapping in the wind. Oy. And then it just goes on to the card front, onto the card base. So it's a little different just to give yourself some variety. So there's those two. Just a little different. Okay, so now for the last one. So we're going to do the stamping, and then I'm going to show you the mechanical part of it. And like I said, I don't know if I'm making it more difficult or easier, but I'm going to be doing this with my group this weekend. So, or this Friday. Where's the stamps? Hello. comfort and joy and I need the soft suede again so I just took the pine cone and stamped a border And then stamped, sending good tidings of comfort and joy. Oh, what is wrong with me tonight? All right, we're doing that again. Can't, because it's going to show. I'll fix it later. I can fix that, too. Okay. the mechanics that's really important and then this one whoops I stamped off and did the same thing there and there and then stamped May the warmth of Christmas fill each corner of your heart and home. I know it seems weird doing Christmas, but this set is for four seasons. Whew. Okay. And I just have to I'm fix bring out my thing on my board. computer because I like that better. So we're taking a half a piece of cardstock. Okay. So 
you score this at it disappeared there it is two and an eighth three and a half and I'll put these down four and a quarter which is half of your card that's your center fold and then five And the reason I decided to do this is because I like to use the thicker cardstock for my card base, and it's harder to push through. So then you're going to fold your center, and then you can fold your card in half for that piece. Okay, you got me there. Then we're going to take and put in our center piece. Where's my glue? And I think I lost the other piece. Okay, so we're going to put that in. Now it's important to do this part before you do your next your next step. So your next step is to take a scissor and when Tracy did it she did one. I'm doing two and you take it and cut up to that line. Or you can probably do like a longer one. But I'm going to stick with the two and probably curse myself. Okay, so there's one. And then there's the second one. All right, so then you push those through. So those go out. That goes in. And it's like the old pop-up cards we used to make. And you fold that down. So what doing it with the score lines just made everything even and just gave it a little more stability. Yay, it worked. <laughs> okay. So what did I do with the piece that goes here because this is going to get glued to there this all right so now if I can find the case where I just shoved that I can pull out another piece of paper of paper and it's not on the floor here it is Okay, so we need this. At two. Okay, so we want that. So this is four by five and a quarter. So we want two. Because if you remember, this was two and an eighth where that first score was done. Okay, so that goes down on the front. Uh, oops. Wow, Gail. We can do it. We can do it. I should grab my tool. All right, we're going to leave it. It's 
part of it's going to get covered anyway. Okay. Goodness. All right, so then glue, you're going to put glue on the top of this. But do you remember the old pop-up cards that we used to make? So we used to put whatever we wanted popped up right there. But I just, I kind of like that I did the, the scoring. So then that can go right there, and it's very stable, but it does need to dry. And then this one... So you want to lay it down and then kind of guesstimate how far you can go. So we know we can't go past where I had put my finger. Otherwise you're going to have a glue mess. And you could decorate it, you know, a little more. I didn't, but but there it is. Isn't that great? Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, every year, this is the first year I've gone, but they do a um, stamp away camp. So I wish I was feeling better and I could have stayed. But, okay. So I will post all those dimensions but let me bring everything back so we've got that and that I swear I did four I guess I lost it but I'll bring all the other ones I have to push that a little bit more so there's that one, that one. Oh, lots of cards. Lots and lots of cards. So thanks for joining me tonight. And um, I will be back on Wednesday. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you then. Good night.